Willie D. Willie Willie D. Willie was an American singer and songwriter. During his 35-year career, first with his band Bing D. Willie and later on his own, D. Willie created original songs rooted in traditional American musical styles. D. Willie died of pancreatic cancer on August 6, 2009 at the age of 58. Although his commercial success waxed and went over the years, his legacy as a songwriter has influenced many other musicians such as Mark Knopfler and Peter Wolf. Willie de Willie was born in Stamford, Connecticut to William Paul Borsey, a carpenter, and Marion Elizabeth Barrett. He grew up in the working class Belltown district of Stamford. Sherwood Bailey. Sherwood Bailey was an American child actor and civil engineer. His parents were non-professionals. He is most noted for appearing as a spark, the red-headed, freckle-faced bad boy in Enemy of the Gang, Inner Gang, Short Subject series from 1931 to 1932. Spud was characterized as the mom's boy type who got away with everything and who also liked the girls a lot. Bailey's most notable appearance was that of the spoiled bratty stepbrother of Weezer and Dorothy in 1931's Dogs is Dogs. In that show, he is nearly convinced by Steamy that ham and eggs can talk and is later pushed down a well by his own dog, Nero. Bailey left the R Gang series in 1932 at the age of nine. He graduated from Polytechnic High School in Long Beach, then studied engineering at UCLA, but did not graduate. He later earned his state civil engineering license and worked as a civil engineer in Huntington Beach. He died on 6 August. May soul rest in peace. Stan Linde. Stan Linde, creator of the syndicated Western comic strip Rick O'Shea, which ran for 20 years in major newspapers and reached out about 15 million readers, died Tuesday of cancer in Helena, Mont. He was just 81. Lindy was a Korean War veteran who had studied journalism at the University of Montana and briefly worked on his family's ranch in Colorado when he realized he wanted to try to make it as a cartoonist. After buying a one-way ticket to New York City in the 1950s, he worked his way up to commodities reporter at the Wall Street Journal while attending the School of Visual Arts at night. Inspired by the cowboys of his youth, he developed his Ricochet comic strip, which was first syndicated in 1958. The characters in the comic strip were composites of the old times. Cowboys and the people I knew growing up, Lindy once said. After he got into a contract dispute with the syndicate in 1977, he stopped drawing it. Because the syndicate owned Ricochet, the strip continued until 1981 with others doing the work. Born Myron Stanford Lindy on September 23, 1931 in Billings and grew up listening to his parents read him the Sunday comics. He later recalled wanting to be a cartoonist since age 5 or 6. John Hogus. John Hogus was American film director, writer and producer who in the 1980s established the modern American teen movie as a genre. Hoggy successfully portrayed the reality of adolescent life while maintaining a funny and light-hearted tone. Encyclopedia Britannica, Home Quizzes and Games History, and Society Science and Tech Biographies, Animals and Nature Geography, and Travel Arts and Culture Money Videos, John Hogg's Home Entertainment and Pop Culture Movie. John Hogus. John Hogus was American film director, writer, and producer who in the 1980s established the modern American teen movie as a genre. Hogue successfully portrayed the reality of adolescent life while maintaining a funny and light-hearted tone. Encyclopedia Britannica, Home Quizzes and Games History, and Society Science, and Tech Biographies, Animals, and Nature Geography, and Travel Arts, and Culture Money Videos, John Hogue's Home Entertainment and Pop Culture Movie. American film director, also known as Alvin Dentist, John Walden Hughes, J.R. Written and Fact Checked by Last Updated, August 2, 2023, Article History. John Hughes is full John Walden Hughes. J.R. Sidonium Edmund Dance, born February 18, 1950, Lansing, Michigan, U.S., died on August 6, 2009, New York, New York. American film director, writer, and producer who in the 1980s established the modern American teen movie as a genre. He successfully portrayed the reality of adolescent life while maintaining a funny and light-hearted tone. He Hughes moved with his family to Chicago, the city whose environs would later serve as a setting for many of his films. 
He attended the University of Arizona in Tucson, left before graduating and returned to Chicago to work as an advertising copywriter. He began his comedy career writing jokes for stand-up comedians such as Rodney Dangerfield. His film career was launched when he began writing screenplays for movies produced by National Lampoon magazine. In financial terms, Hughes' greatest success was Home Alone 1990, directed by Chris Columbus, a film starring Macaulay Culkin as a child left to his own devices when his parents lose track of him on the way to a vacation in France. He died on 6 August. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep supporting us by sharing our video to your friends and relatives. And please do subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Goodbye.